Hey guys, it's Logan here again with LaMaster Reef. I'm going to do a nitrate test on my uh, reef tank tonight using the uh, Salifert nitrate test. As you guys know, I've had some uh, nitrate trouble with my reef tank. I'm running bio pellets and it's actually uh, really starting to work and bring them down. I've got it to undetectable on the API test kit and uh, I'm using this to test low range nitrates and I really, really like this, this test. So I wanted to do a video. I know there are other videos out there, but I wanted to do a video on this on this test kit and also show you what my readings are right now in the, in the tank. So uh, stay tuned. Alright guys, so here's some of the stuff that I use. This is a, uh, a syringe that I buy at the farm store. It's just a plastic syringe. I use this same one for uh, drawing water out of my tank to uh, use in all my test kits. I feel like I've if I use the same one over and over again to pull out the sample, uh, I'm more accurate with it. So let's open the salad for a kid and see what's inside. Instructions. Uh, several pieces here. You got the the uh, the card here with the different colors on it. Uh, the test vial cap. You got a solution one uh, powder and then it comes with a with a syringe which I believe it it tells you to put one or two mils we'll have to read the instructions in the test file but like I said I always I always use this one and I feel like it gives me better accuracy because I'm using the same one all the time so let's see what the instructions say the instructions say that we need one mil of water in the test file so One mil of water. It's not a one mil of water. It's not a whole lot. And to that, we need to add four drops of uh, solution one. One, two, three, four. Uh, Next thing it says to add one level spoonful of the reagent powder. What I like to do is I like to get more than more than enough on the spoon, and then I actually use this card to kind of strike it off back into the uh, back into the can container, and I get. A really nice level even spoonful and I feel like it's pretty accurate each and every time so now we're gonna swirl for 30 seconds Okay guys, so now we have to let it sit for uh, three minutes. Alright guys, so the test is finished after the three minutes and uh, looking from the top down it just looks like clear water and uh, actually looking from the side and I'm sure this camera is not going to want to pick it up but I mean it's still almost clear. It's, it's slightly pink and uh, after looking at it, it's, I'm still right at the on the two which you divide that number by 10 when you're doing the low, low range kit and that's going to tell me I'm right at a point 2 somewhere between a point 2 and point 5 so I'm not I'm not clear at zero but I'm I'm just right down there where I want to be so again and you can see a little bit of pinkness to it when I'm holding it up against this whiteboard again I, I really like this test I it's pretty similar to the Red Sea test, really. Um, other than I, it's easier to easier to use. There's less less uh, steps involved, and it's a really quick test. So I highly suggest it. 
I purchased this from Bulk Reef Supply. I'll put a link to that in the uh, description of the video. Anyway, I just wanted to say Merry Christmas to everybody. Thanks for watching.